if you caught my last video, I had done a review of this figure. And if you'd seen it, you'd seen that there's actually some major joint problems here in the knees and the hips to where the, it's really difficult for them to stand up. And what I've done is actually fixed one of the knees and I'm gonna go over with you guys on how to fix the other one. So this is the one knee. This is how it was before. And what would happen is he would just fall back or he'd fall forward. It's not a great joint. But this leg now is much better to the point where it can support it a bit more. So before we get started, first I wanna tell you guys, mod at your own risk. If this wears out your toy faster or doesn't work or you damage your toy, you're on your own. However, I have shown fixes on other toys in the past and hopefully this will help the community. So the first thing we're gonna go over is taking off the screws. Now, this screw here and this screw here, hold it on, you wanna find yourself a good screwdriver that is the type of Phillips that matches. You don't want something that's too skinny or too long or too fat. You wanna find a screwdriver that fits in there very well. And I like this one, one because it's long, it lets me get to about any bolt that's in there. And this is a good taper for most Hasbro bolts, Hasbro screws. So I put ample pressure inward as I turn it because you don't wanna turn loosely or you can strip the head. And that's something you definitely wanna avoid when taking your screws off because you might have a hard time finding any kind of replacement screws for these. Luckily, uh, it seems that both of these screws are the same size. So I don't believe the order in which they go in and go out matter. After that, you just pop apart the thigh and we're off. Now, what you can see here is the mechanism that actually is the ratchet. What we have here is this piece here, and all it does is it presses against the ratchet. But as you can see, it doesn't give a lot of resistance. The tooth is not very long on it, and there's flex in here. Now, the thing, the mod that I'm gonna suggest could put more wear on this edge of the peg, and what will probably happen is someone will come along and create a replacement version of this, but this is gonna help it stand up. Now, as an example, just to show you guys, you're gonna to have to find your own material to put in here. Now I have what I'm gonna use, but I just wanna use this as an example. So if we take this piece and I wedge it in here, actually I might need to pop this out first. But I can wedge this in here. And as you can see, that ratchet is much tighter. So what we're gonna be doing is adding something in here to, to reduce the compression. And what I've got is another review that's actually coming up. I've got a piece of plastic sprue and I'm, I found that this fits just tight enough and I can take my snips and trim it. So I could have actually used this if I wanted to, even though it's a little bit bigger, but I think this will be sufficient. So I'm just going to snip here. And then I'm going to cut off the a little bit on the extra. And I have a piece that fits just tight enough to not fall out. And when I place it in, see if I can get this just right. It's a little tricky to do this on camera and also watch what I'm doing. Then that makes it a little bit easier to fit in there. So now there we have that. We have this piece in there. And to give myself some extra clearance, I might as well just open this up. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Helped or not, but as you can see, now we have the piece in there, and when I turn it, more resistance. Not as much resistance had I used this, but I think it's enough resistance to where it will at least be able to stand up and not be a problem. So now I go ahead for reassembly. This piece just goes in like so, and then we sandwich it on there. Do 
drop our screw in. Screw off screw. So I want to do the other screw off screen just so you guys don't have to sit through that. But as you can see, far more stable. He doesn't just fall over like he did before because these joints were too loose. Now the hips are still a little loose. So what I'm gonna do is pop this open, which are two screws back here, and we're gonna investigate and see if we can improve these ratchets as well. So we've got this part removed, it's just the two screws, fairly simple enough. And the front piece, if we look below, is the same type of thing that's in the knee. You can see the gears here, they rest against it, and they just click with that. So I'm gonna attempt the same repair of adding something inside there like I did before and see if that resolves the issue. And so that wasn't so bad. I just put the two screws on the back here and it is now complete. And now look at him. He does not just fall over. And to show you the true test of how well this works, I can actually hold him sideways and let's see if it takes, there's some, I'm shaking him and look, the joints still aren't moving. So now with some pieces put in there, the joints are sufficiently tight enough to hold better poses and not just be a floppy mess. So if this mod helped you, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.